Okay, folks, uh, what I'm going to try to do is lead you through everything here as quickly as I can for doing source and note cards from InfoHio. There's a lot of things you're going to need from the Schoology site. So let me show you those things. The first one is the MLA guide, and you should already have a copy of that. It looks like this. I give you a copy of it if you don't have it. Find it online. It's on Schoology. Print it out, maybe. Be a good idea as well. Other things that you're going to need from Schoology involve scrolling down a little bit here. There's the assignment, which will explain it. The InfoHio source and note card practice, which will essentially pull up a printout of some slides. Okay. This will be the assignment you're doing. There's an article. And there's another article. So you're going to need that, have access to that, or print it out. Next thing you're going to need the InfoTrack source and um, no card practice. I just showed you that. The online notes. And that is a printout of notes that I would kind of give you on the screen if we were there. Shows you how to do a source card and a note card. So you can print those out, keep those rules handy as well. All right. Uh, what you'll do is you'll pull up those articles and you will pull up your file that I've shared with you. There's the dialogue. There's the research topics, which you should have done already. There is the Poe essay, which you should have done already. And there are four boxes, one for Info Hio Source 1, one for Info Hio Note 1, Source 2, Note 2. All right. And I will do these with a couple sample articles that I have found. These are not the ones you are doing. These are just for showing you. All right, this first one, uh, this looks very similar to the ones that you have on your sheet. The only difference here is this is a different article. All right, so you first thing you have to do is determine that this, in fact, came from InfoHio, and it says EBSCO host right there. And if you look at your MLA quick guide, InfoHio, all right, what is the name of the program? EBSCO host, the website ebscohost.com. So that is how you determine that this, in fact, came from InfoHio. Next, you are going to create a source card. Now, for the source card, you are going to put all these things just like they appear here. Author's last name, comma, first name, period. The article title in quotes with a period. The name of the magazine journal, underlined, or in italics, the date of publication, the pages, name of the database, and then this is always going to be the same. You're going to put web because we've got it online. Put EBSCO host as the name of the program. You're going to put Buckeye Valley High School because that is the body that has the right to use this program. So you're always going to put Buckeye Valley High School whether you use it at school or at home. You're going to put available in a colon. You're going to put the root address, that means www.whatever until .com or .net. And then you're going to put the access date. And the dates are usually weird. So look at the, whoops, look at the sample that I gave you. And take a look at how the dates go. It is the day, space, the abbreviated month, FEB period the year, then you put a colon, and then you put the page number or page numbers and a period. All right, so how do I do this? I go back to my first article. I'm just going to copy paste some of this stuff so I can kind of show you. We're going to go back here. First thing I'm going to do is this is a new source. So up at the top, I'm going to give it a number. In this case, number one. First source, first magazine article, first newspaper article, first book, first whatever.